If art is a reflection of society, then this display of work by Filipino artist Toim Imao can be seen as a portrayal of young people's struggle for academic freedom in the Philippines. Toim calls it barricada or barricade. He created it to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the Diliman Commune. In February 1971, activists marched to the university during martial law and declared it liberated from state forces. The incident ended in a violent siege. And now similar battle lines are drawn once again. The military has ended a decades-old agreement with the University of the Philippines to keep state forces out of its campuses across the country. The military says the university has been a haven of recruitment for communist rebels. The New People's Army and the military have been fighting for more than 50 years. The conflict is described as the world's oldest existing communist insurgency. So how come that they will equate the abrogation of this uh, contract na may militarize namin yung UP? No. Only UP has this kind of agreement. Why? What makes UP so special to have this, this kind of uh, treatment? Four other universities have also been accused of encouraging dissent. In a joint statement to the military, their heads say such allegations are irresponsible and without proof. Critics say the military's decision to cancel its accord with the University of the Philippines is deeply disturbing. It could soon mean that soldiers in civilian clothes could join students in rallies and that the atmosphere of freedom in campuses would soon be replaced by fear. University education, which means you need to study the range of ideas that man has thought of since time immemorial. We have a long tradition of heroes fighting for freedom. If there is fear, then learning cannot happen. Across the country, student activists are up in arms too. They're unfairly targeting the youth sector, and uh, it's because we are actually very critical about the government. So, and I think it's actually the duty of students to actually do that. Much of Toim's work has been focused on the legacy of the martial law era when young people were under siege and turned to art as a means of expression and defense. He says recent events are a reminder that those times of trouble and conflict could be returning. Jamal Lindogan, Al Jazeera, Manila.